What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good. Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything. Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang. Where'd you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? <laughs> we just so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, this is my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know? Popular music icon Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of SA of youngsters in the industry several times, but fresh allegations came up again, which made Justin Bieber's mom come out to expose Diddy's impact on her son. Is there more to this? Let's get into the video and discover everything. We all know Diddy has been facing a series of allegations, but the black hole of all possible allegations against the disgraced rapper has widened since his ex-girlfriend and singer-songwriter Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit against him last year. In the lawsuit, Cassie claimed that Combs subjected her to over 15 years of physical, sexual and mental abuse, including coercing her into taking illegal substances, forcing her to have unconcerted relationships with male prostitutes and hitting her on numerous occasions. She also accused him of forcing himself on her in 2019 after they had broken up. Although Combs denied all the allegations and it was later settled silently, Cassie wasn't the only one who had something of this nature against Diddy. Cassie's allegation paved the way for others to rise, and since then Diddy has been buried under a series of allegations of sexual assault and trafficking. One of such accusations is Usher, one of the most successful pop artists of the 21st century, who has a history with Combs. Usher was discovered by Combs when he was only 14 years old and signed to his record label Bad Boy Entertainment. Combs became his mentor and introduced him to the world of fame and fortune, but also to the dark side of the industry. In a 2012 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Usher confessed that Combs exposed him to illegal substances and extravagant parties when he was still a teenager. He said he felt pressured to participate in things that he was not ready for and that he regretted some of his choices. He also said that Combs was not a good role model for him and that he had to distance himself from him to find his own identity. Now, we all know he mentored Usher and all, but what if we told you that Diddy was also abusing not just the popular Usher, but Justin Bieber, who was just a 15-year-old talent at the time? Can your parents were Mary okay? J. Blige, they ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time, you know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Justin Bieber's encounter with Combs was similar to Usher's. In 2009, Bieber was discovered by Usher on YouTube and became his protege. Usher introduced him to Combs, who invited him to his parties and gave him expensive gifts, such as a Lamborghini. It was an old video that exposed everything. The clip featured Diddy and Justin Bieber, and the content seemed hard to digest, as he was seen to be grooming an underage star the wrong way. While Diddy was off dealing with the recent repercussions of the federal raid on his LA and Miami homes, the video surfaced, confirming netizens' speculations about him possibly grooming Justin Bieber in his teens. <laughs> okay, so when we walk down the streets of New York, we hit them like this. So me and you walk and we hanging out, you know, a little later on the night after the Usher concert. Yeah. You know. Don't get those ladies, right? Yeah, after that, the ladies, we in the street, Times Square. Yeah. The video shows 40-year-old Sean Lovecombs standing next to the young pop star saying, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, where we are hanging out and what we're doing we can't disclose. But it's a 15-year-old's dream, he added, because Justin was 15 years old then. The hip-hop artist, also known as Puffy, is even heard bringing Usher into the conversation. Addressing that though he doesn't have Bieber's legal guardianship, he'd been given custody of him for 48 hours as he was signed to Usher. Diddy claims to have had Usher's legal guardianship when he worked on his first album. The clip begins with Diddy showing Bieber his sports car and promising him he can drive the vehicle once he turns 16. Guess what he did next? He offered Justin the mansion they were in and told him he could have it when he turned 18. Now, this sounds like a wild dream for a kid, but don't you think these promises aren't for free? So what could have been Diddy's motive for giving Justin these exorbitant gifts? 
although those gifts are normal for a superstar like Justin, given Diddy's history, we cannot help but think that perhaps he gave Justin these gifts just to lure him into certain activities that aren't proper for him. That is evident in what he says next when he asks Bieber what he wants to do, to which Bieber responds, let's go get some girls. When the video was posted to social media, it triggered an outpouring of criticism and concern, with one person labeling the footage creepy, while another said, the internet truly never forgets. It comes as Usher himself claimed he was exposed to some pretty wild stuff while living with Diddy age 14. In an unearthed interview from 2016, Usher revealed details about his time living with the superstar in the spring of 1994. When asked if Diddy's place was filled with chicks and orgying non-stop, Usher replied that it was pretty wild. I got a chance to see some things. I don't know if I could indulge and even understand what I was looking at. As for whether he would send his children to Puffy Flavor Camp, Usher responded with an emphatic, hell no. Back in 2004, Usher told Rolling Stone that Diddy introduced him to a different set of S asterisk asterisk T, sex, specifically. Another video clip about Justin Bieber was taken a year later in 2010, when Bieber was 16, and it shows the young singer stuttering and looking uncomfortable as Diddy asks him why he doesn't hang out with him anymore. Both Diddy and Bieber are shown together in a recording studio, but it is unclear what the footage was filmed for. However, it appears to have been taken around the time the future pop star was recording his 2010 debut album, My World 2.0. You haven't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out, Diddy said behind his tinted glass. Bieber was just fidgeting and mumbling while he talked. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Justin's mother, Patty Mallette, later exposed the hidden secrets between the two stars. According to Patty, Diddy tried to corrupt her son with drugs and alcohol at his parties and encouraged the underage to drink champagne in the name of grooming. Millette was horrified when she discovered that, and she had to intervene to protect her son. When Jaguar Wright wanted to comment on this issue, she took it to another level by calling out Usher for delivering Justin into Diddy's hand. However, Usher can't be blamed because he was also a victim. This highlights the dark side of the industry that goes beyond what we see on the stage. Here is what Jaguar Wright says about that. I'm not angry with Usher M. He is a victim. But when you decided I can't beat them, so I'm going to join them. See, that's what I and you got a problem. The question is how much does Patty know about this alleged grooming and is it the untold reason behind Justin's career breakdown? Sources have it that Diddy forced both Justin and Usher to seek the same freak-off meetings he forced Cassie into, and Patty believed that it is the reason Justin is dealing with PTSD, depression, and mental health issues. Justin was on top of the world until his career took an unexpected turn in February 2023. He sold his music catalogue for a whopping $200 million and then suddenly cancelled his world tour the next month due to health issues. The question is, what happened along the way? Back in September, Diddy announced a surprising collaboration with Justin on his album, sharing a revealing clip of Justin in his audio. In the caption, Diddy wrote, Justin Bieber has become one of the biggest superstars in the world. I met him when he was playing his guitar outside on the street. I'm honored to call him a dear friend and a brother. I never had the chance to work with him until now. God is the greatest. Diddy's claim of meeting Justin playing guitar on the street is weird especially since we all know it was Usher who introduced them. Patty was the one who started uploading Justin songs on YouTube at the age of 12. One video in particular caught the eye of Justin's then-manager, Scooter Braun. Scooter was so convinced that Justin could become a superstar. Eventually, Scooter reached out to Patty, urging her to let Justin go with him to Atlanta. At just 13, Justin headed to Atlanta with Scooter to record demos where Usher took him under his wing. A lot of people now criticize Patty for bad parenting, but she was going through a lot at the time as a teen mom who raised Justin alone after his dad left. She faced her struggles, even contemplating taking her own life at the age of 17, so Patty probably saw this as the best way to provide Justin with better opportunities than she had, trusting Scooter and Usher to protect him. She believed it would lead to Justin's success. 
However, once Scooter and Usher took charge, Patty lost control over Justin, and the result wasn't good at all. While Diddy claims to build young stars, it's obvious he's responsible for their downfall as well due to his weird demands. With several allegations leveled against him for his reckless conduct, can he escape through charges again? Let us know your opinion in the comments.